So then in 1994, you joined, I think, what was look, undoubtedly the premier franchise in Australian basketball, which was the Melbourne Tigers. You had Lindsay Gaze as coach. You had teammates like Andrew Gaze, like Mark Bradkey, like Leonard Copeland. That must have been a rush. Yeah, it was. And you know what? Probably not as much for me as someone who'd grown up watching the sport mm. for a decade. And it was all very new, but I certainly had an understanding of how great they were by the time I found my way into the NBL program and and it was very quick it was was only two and a half years after I started playing so you know I I still remember watching particularly Mark Bradkey and Dave Simmons because they were the the guys who played my position and watching them play or watching them develop their individual skills and thinking I can actually do that I, I think I can do that but if I was to do it in a competitive environment I'm just not strong enough I'm not physical enough and it really taught me early on that that was going to be absolutely critical in my development, that I had to work on more than what was required on the court. I had to spend countless hours off the court with regard to diet, with regard to strength and conditioning to even be able to compete because I could have been the most skilled player in the world and not been able to play the game because I just couldn't compete physically. So I learned that very, very early on. and. Took some steps towards that my first year, but didn't quite get it right. It, it took me you know, until I moved clubs to make sure I really had that as a point of emphasis. 